everyone welcome to the evil genius course in this particular course i am going to cover everything about the evil genius from basic to the advanced level and this video is going to be the introduction video of that particular course right so in this particular video i am going to tell you which topics i am going to cover and in which order i am going to cover so that if you know few topics or if you know few things then you can jump around and you can continue from there you can save your time right so without wasting time let's get started before going for that here is a quick disclaimer this video or this course is only for educational purpose or research purpose right don't misuse this particular knowledge because if you are going to miss this particular knowledge then i'll be not responsible for your any action or whatever the counter action will be taken by the government or corresponding authorities i'll be not responsible for that so make sure you check your legal boundaries and work in that boundaries only right so the first topic i am going to cover is basics of the domain server dns why domain server dns because these are the three uh, things which are directly connected to the evil genix in order to work with the evil genix we need to configure these three things so that's why we are going to cover domain dns and server right so the second thing is basics of working of the evil genix right so here we are going to understand how exactly evil genix functions so that you can implement your logic more effectively right so third thing is basics of the linux so why linux the server we are going to use to uh, do the setup of the evil genix is the linux server so if you are completely beginner if you don't understand about the linux then it will be like really hard time for you to understand which commands are going to be execute uh, while doing some work right so that's why i'm going to cover the basics of the linux also so that whatever i'm doing in the course you will have easily understanding what's happening in it okay so fourth thing is setup of the evil genix on the server so in this one we are going to see how we can set up the evil genix on this server in completely working condition okay the topic number five is evil genix configuration so the well, the setup is not only the one thing that we need to do on the server so once the setup is done we need to configure uh, that particular evil genix setup to our needs right so that's why uh, the configuration video then there will be the basics of the fishlet so evil genix is just a software right or you can say the back end whatever happens the magic is in the fishlet so whatever we write in the fishlet suppose i want to create phishing website of xyz.com then whatever i need to uh, do in that particular website we will write in the uh, fishlet itself right so the fishlet is a core part of the evil genix okay so in this particular uh, video that which is topic number 6 we are going to cover basics of the fishlet in the topic number 7 we are going to create the basic fishlet basic working fishlet for xyz website okay which website i am going to cover in the course but yeah you can say that uh, xyz website okay in the topic number 8 we are going to create the intermediate level of the fishlet okay so in the fishlet itself we have the basic fishlet intermediate fishlet and advanced level fishlet right so why i am dividing this uh, uh, fishlet in the three parts because it will be much easier if i divide and it will be easier for me to explain to you about the fishlet okay so that you can easily understand so that's why i am dividing the fishlet part in the basic intermediate and advanced level okay uh the next part in the next part i am going to cover the optimization of the evil genix so what step you should take to optimize your completely evil genix setup right so that's what i am going to cover and the topic number 10 is ticks and trips so so far i am been uh, researching about the evil genix so far i am working with the evil genix so basically i am going to cover what i learned and which tricks you should be using to avoid uh, detections which tricks you should be using to avoid let's say turning into the red in the browser right so all of these things are going to be covered in the last video okay so that's all in this particular video and see you in the next Let's go.